Hi guys and welcome to a, another vlog where today we are in the Founders Heritage Park which is situated in the Nelson City Centre and if you are a resident here or for me being in Mapu, it's free entry which is really really good and look at this windmill so this is the entrance and then they give you a map and you can kind of just walk all the way around and check out all these buildings so you can go inside some of them but um, not all of them so I think uh, you know they're renovating them and we're gonna you know tour this kind of old village town I think that's what it's structured as well it is a park but to me it's like I'm just walking in an old town when you when you see a bike like this you just want to go on it right I did that in um in Chinatown in Dubai there you go look at the basket look at the size of that basket man let's see the cobbler here he is making his shoes leave your shoe for repairs for fast quality service I, it probably wasn't that fast right oh look Look, man, there's some stocks over there. If you were a naughty boy or a naughty girl, that's where you would go in the stocks. I'm trying to get in here where you can see me on camera. <laughs> that's probably a fail, isn't it? And I'm just going to show you around some more buildings, guys. There's a, quite a lot of, lot of places to go. We're in the general store, but they've got the glass on it, but um, they've got all the old stock and items you can get at the back there. Have a little look. They've got like the Chelsea's golden syrup gravies they've got some old white vinegar bottles in there and look at the old till don't know if you can see that and the weighing scale for the sweets all the different they, they've got to be licorice and i'm not too sure what these are because i'm not a big sweet eater myself i'm more of a chocolate man and some old olive oil tin there check out this fire engine here i wonder if you can go inside it oh it's padlocked wait can you go in here Yes! I'm gonna go in the fire engine, guys. Wow, man. Oh, so echoey. Wow. And an old fire engine. And check out the um, the wheel and the old pedals, eh? And the handbrake and the radio. And there's the siren. And no, I am not gonna be pushing those buttons because in my luck, I'll push it and the whole thing will start going off. And check this out. I wonder if you can actually go inside there. I think you can, I can see some steps up. I'm not too sure what kind of aircraft that is. And also there's a little model railway that I want to play with in there. Check out the model railway. Here comes the train now. Heading to this aircraft guys. I'm gonna see if we can actually get in this thing. And yes, I think we can, I think we can. And I'm actually going to um, try and find out what aircraft this is. Maybe it was like a, one of those cargo ones, eh? That kind of just, like, did the mail and all sorts. But we're going inside now. Here we are. Okay. This is a freight airplane. Okay. It's pretty cool that you actually get to uh, come in here. Look at the old seats. And even at the Heritage Park, there's a little cafe here as well. While we're waiting for the coffee and scones, guys, I thought I'd show you this map. So you get this map on arrival and it kind of details everything about the buildings and shows you kind of the little routes you can take. So enter the barbers, but I don't need a haircut, I've just had one. And the opening hours are 10 till 4.30. There's the old barber shop chair that you'd sit in. And these are all the kind of the, the palms. Uh, palmades, palmade, yes, that you'd have. And there's all even the old cigarettes up there. Maybe you could buy cigarettes in the barber shops, I don't know. And here's like an old, kind of like a picture of what it may look like. And here, lots of text to read guys, which I don't really have the patience for. I just like to look at things. And I think they're match, uh, matchsticks in here. Oh, the matchsticks. I'm gonna put you over the top so you can see about the glass. There you go. Here it is. And past this building here, guys. But I don't want to take you in there because I think they do a lot of weddings here as well. So in there they have like an altar and chairs ready. But I think you can also use that maybe as like a reception area. Um, I would have taken you in there but I feel a bit rude just traipsing on in on someone's kind of wedding rehearsal. But it is, it is in that building. And then here is an, oh my god I'm so dyslexic I can't read that. Upper, I don't even know. You're going to laugh at me but... By the look of it, it's like a medicine shop. So you get all your all your medicines in here. And I love how little and old the bottles are. 
a bit different to the pharmacy that we have now, isn't it, guys? Here, yes, it's a pharmacy shop. Why couldn't they just write pharmacist on there? It's a pharmacy shop. And now I look like an idiot because I can't pronounce that. If you know how to pronounce that, let me know because I don't have a clue. It's an old schoolhouse just over here but i'd like to take you in but there's something going on there in progress maybe they just bring some of like the school students in to experience what um you know what the educational system was like back in the day i don't know i don't know guys but there is something in progress here i'll take you to the front um and i can probably show you a little bit of the desks but uh, sorry i'm just uh, looking over there because tani's here hey tani tani's over there i just wanted to make sure i'm over here but um, have to be because it says private. But um, yeah, I think there's a class going on. But this is the old school. You can probably hear. Listen. Yeah, there's definitely something going on in there. But look, these are the rules for the pupils. Be as tidy as possible in your dress. Come regularly and punctual to school. I was always punctual to school, guys. Always. Just gonna take you in this last building before we go this is the church this is old st peter's i'm actually going to try and learn something about this guys and give you some information so this church was built in 1873 overlooking the atawaiha shores the land was donated by a local corridor called william barnett so there you go guys a little bit of history about the church Oh, and it cost £120 to complete the church. Wow. Back then, I'm guessing that was a lot of money. I'm going to see if we can go in. Ah, oh, they've locked it. They've locked it, guys. This is the thing when you come here. Um, there's a load of buildings that you can't actually access today. I mean, you can look at them, but you can't get in. Like the school there, the building with the wedding kind of rehearsal going on. But then again, it's still been really nice for the shops we have managed to go in. So I'm going to leave you here guys, thank you for watching, it's probably going to be a little bit of a shorter vlog, but uh, you know it's not the biggest park, and I'm going to leave you with the view of the windmill, bye bye.